Hello, Nancy today. So I'm going to put in another window. It's going to be just like that over here. And I'll show you what I do first. First, I'm going to need to make a 2 by 4 that goes across the top to support the weight of the roof. And then I need to put 2 by 4s down the sides to support that 2 by 4 so I have to have the width of a 2x4 over here and the width of a 2x4 over here. So that's an inch and a half times two. I believe they're an inch and a half each. So anyway, we'll have three inches extra here. So I made, I measured from the, the roof, so it's the same as that, five and a half inches, five and a half inches. And I used my square. Where did my square go? This is a square, and you use it to, to do a perfect square line. So once I had found five and a half inches from the roof over there and over there, I could draw a line connecting them, and then I could also draw a line down from the corner so that my line would be perfectly square. Anyway, so I did that all around so that I made a nice box. The next thing I'll do is I'll take a knife and I shall draw right on my line. Which will eventually cut all the way in through the drywall. And then once I've done that, I'll be able to put an X on it, smash it in the middle, and break it out. Cut out. I have made a deep groove in the drywall so that I can take it out. Some people, see, it's, um, it's going to be nailed into the studs. You can see a bump right there, which is a nail bump. And I could see other nail bumps here and there. So I made lines between the studs. Anyway, hard to say if I've done it right or not. And then in the corner I made this little hole so hopefully I could put my finger behind it and pull. But it's not completely undone yet. It's not completely free. The other window, I spent a lot of time banging it with a hammer and I made bits everywhere and it was such a mess. So it's free till there. And there, now it's free all the way up there. It's 
free down there. So theoretically I could pull it. But I'll leave the party for another time. See ya. Okay, so I've got some of these lines going all the way through. Willem suggested I make things, angles. So here, see I can push that in and it breaks. I can push this one in too and it breaks. Of course I cut the inside of that out. So I could do the same here. I could just go all the way through without breaking my knife, I hope. Because it's got paper on the other side. Anything but that. You want to put in your ivy? Who needs a gym? Boy, all of you kids would have loved it if there were windows in here when you were little. This used to be your room. Well, not when you were little. Three months. Three months. I lived here for three months. I lived downstairs for three months in the summer. And then I lived here. And now I'm in there for 12 weeks. Yay! Look at you! You did it! Ta -da! Perfect! Perfect! Let's have a round of applause! Yay! You can bow for the camera. Or curtsy, that would be better. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think... Oh, we did cut. No, did we? No, okay. We did cut all the way through. Is this plywood on? That's plywood yeah, on. Oh, I'm sorry? I said, yes, there wouldn't be paint in the middle of the bleeding, either. No. Hello, Willem. I have a 
willing victim. <laughs> We're playing Tom Sawyer. The wire is still sticking over there. I know, but it's okay. Because the wind is not going that far. No, we've already cut it. Okay. So, anyway, so there's, I've got the mail. Okay. Hello, it's Nancy today doing a window. Okay, so I have got the frame for the window. These are underneath this. And they are all going to sit on these studs here. This is this is the stud here. All right. So it all fits. And now for the unveiling. It's going to get cold. It's like minus 20 out there. No, not anymore. Minus 10? No. Minus 5? Or maybe it's even above freezing. Oh, I don't think so. I don't feel a lot of... I don't know. We'll know in a minute. It is March. <laughs> okay, I gotta cut a little more around the... But maybe straighter on the bottom, too. edge. Voila. A window. Now this the should hide the lamps. So that has to be cut a little more smoothly there and there. Yes. Yep -er. And then the window will go in. Look at that. We'll have two windows. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There she goes, holding it up and pushing it in. Perfect. Superwoman. And we'll put a wedge in there. Look at this lovely view. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Two windows. Nope, further over because of the wire. Nope. Right. Just needs to go out a little bit more. A little more. Like that. Move your hand, lady. Hand. Move your hand. Let me do it.
You want me to do that part? Look at that. Oh, that nails. Getting it in. No, nails. This is... I know. This is a tragedy. I have to go find some more nails. Alrighty. You go find them. There is a garbage bag in the hallway. Or right there. That's the plastic. Oh. And there's this thing up in here. This thing is here too. really good for this tiny little room. Yeah. Perfect. Looks really good for this tiny little room, I said. I'll pull the insulation in and then I'll, it? Yeah, it does. And then I'll mud it up like that one. Look at this lovely mudding job. Oh, please. On the top, I'm going to still see that again. But this is where the trim's going to go, so that's the part I'm really concerned about. Oh. And we'll do that one next. Then we'll be able to sit in the chair, and look out the window. Or, then we'll be able to look out the window. Look. She could be a panorama. Yeah, she has to do the roof. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It sounded loud. I'm just letting them slide down the stairs. I could carry them. Is it hitting the piano? What? Is it hitting the piano? No, they're just hitting the stairs. 